Hello guys, this is from BTV and welcome to my channel. Uh, hindi po ako kakanta, sasayaw at magpapatawa today. Magbabasa ng sulat at magbibigay ng advice. Or manggagaya ng mga kusikusik. Today, uh, for the first time actually, uh, this is something new for me. I'll be doing a reaction video. Because while I was uh, browsing YouTube kanina, uh, there's one video that uh, really catched my attention. It's uh, actually I don't follow her, but her name is Regan Hillier or Regan Hillier, if I pronounce it right. And her vlog is entitled "What Would the World Do Without the Woman?" It's just uh, refreshing because kahit sa anumang bansa there is always anti and pro something, but uh, in the Philippines now I just but things have gone worse. Talagang lagi ang grabe na yung pagkakahati this pro-government and not anti-government but uh, or maybe just just put it that way. So, but uh, syempre iba ibang klase hindi mo sila anti-government just, just anti-something. I don't know. But uh, of course I'm not going to give my political opinion this time. Because uh, just like what I said, we will be doing a uh, reaction video. I just want to share this video with you guys because this one is really refreshing. Na kahit ganon ang sitwasyon natin, ang mga familia natin sa Pilipinas, I, uh, there are people who appreciate our presence. So, just want to share this There is one country in the video. world that is taken for Whatever granted more than this. any other place. This country is home to the kindest individuals with an incredible love for life. They're responsible for inventing video calls, baby incubators for rural areas, and they also play a massive role in the invention of chips that we use in so many of our computers. I don't know today. This country has citizens living all over the world to help you and I, to help the elderly, the sick, the poor, and many of them go totally unnoticed. When I told you that they are taken for granted, I meant it. With scarce opportunities, many family members make the tough decisions to go and work overseas so that they can better provide for their loved ones. The Filipino government has capitalized on this phenomenon and is actively exporting people for profit, bringing over $30 billion a year. I know that I'm related to the part of this because I think I've been with you for the longest time, like 10 or more than that. In fact, the Philippines is the top supplier of nurses in the world, with about 25% of all overseas nurses coming from the country. And especially now, during COVID, the demand for Filipino caregivers and nurses is higher than ever. Without the Philippines, the world might look something like this. Ayun nga. In fairness, uh, lalo na nung nasa Pinas ako, I remember na talaga napakaraming nursing school na nasip kayo at siya ang mga caregiving, caregiving courses. with a total landmass of 300,000 square kilometers. These breathtakingly beautiful islands are known for their agriculture and their home to over 35% of the world's coral reefs. Without the Philippines, we would lose an invaluable amount of the dwindling supply of coral reefs that we have left. The luscious soil on the islands is so rich and fertile that crops can be planted all year round. So with no Philippines, there would be a huge shortage in the production of imported coconuts, bananas, and tropical fruits from all around the world. Ayan, stop lang mula tayo doon. And uh, people see Philippines na ganun, but uh, of course we cannot, hindi mo maatawag dito. I'm running out of words, but uh, it's so sad to say that tayo uh, isa sa pinakamalaking pinaka uh, exporter ng mga crops but then nag import pa rin tayo ng imported goods and that's what I don't understand. 
Philippines is known as the text capital of the world, where the country sends in excess of 400 million text messages every single day. And just so you could get a sense of how much I love this country, there are two things that you should look at. One, the heart-wrenchingly intimate care that families give their elders. As a country with massive, massive poverty issues, many families are not able to afford care. So caring for those who have reached an older age has become deeply embedded in the backbone of their society. Young children are often taught to greet their elders with a gesture called mano po to express profound respect. Two, the Philippines is the gold standard in Asia for how women should be treated in society. The Global Gender Gap Rankings Index had New Zealand and the Philippines directly competing for the top two spots over the past 10 years. This one makes sense, kaya kasi syempre, sikat na sikat natin mga beauty pageants na lalo ni mga contestants or candidates na nagpapromote ng women empowerment and also we have of course leaders women uh, mga yes, uh, like uh, Grace Po the former Senator Vivian Defensor we have of course Cory Aquino na nagpapromote beating the US and many other mainstream developed countries by a long shot. The bottom line is that without the Philippines, the world would be less flavorful and not nearly as charming and definitely a lot less magical. So in order to sustain one of the most important and resourceful places on the earth, as much as we need them, we also have to meet that need with an equal measure of appreciation. Living in the Philippines is not always easy. There are people living in very tough situations and there are many places that are soaked in poverty. And that's why so many families are making the sacrifice of sending their loved ones home since. In the beginning of this video, I said that the Philippines is the place in this world that is most taken for granted and I stand by that statement. A big part of my company Regan Hillier International is employing people within the Philippines. These people are a very big part of my heart and I made this video to show my massive gratitude to one of, I believe, the best countries on the planet. Please join me in thanking the Philippines and write, thank you Philippines, maybe even tag in a Filipino who you know and love and who you want to acknowledge today. Let's share this video to show appreciation and to show the rest of the world what an amazing place the Philippines is. My name is Regan Pilia and thank you so much for watching. What can I say? Uh, goosebumps and it is really heartwarming because uh, as she speak or uh, Lahat na maririnig ko sa kanya, parang hindi mo maririnig sa mga Pilipino. She spoke about the Philippines, uh, she spoke about all the good things about the Philippines that you can never hear from any Filipinos, even sa akin. And that's, that's amazing, right? Because uh, some people see it the other way. Some people still see the good things about the Philippines and Filipinos. And uh, for that Regan Hill year, of course, I, I, it's uh, far from possible that uh, you'll see this video, but thank you. May pa hashtag pa siyang thank you Philippines. And uh, the thank you that you appreciate the Philippines and the Filipino people. That's uh, just uh, really moving when she said that uh, we are one of the most uh, unappreciated people in the whole world because we are taken for granted. Somehow it's true, but of course, uh, lalo na yung about the OFW na ng ibang bansa. Of course, we, we did that, or we do that for you. Uh, so, ayun na lang. Uh, I'm just happy. Uh, happy and sad because Masaya kasi ibang tao pa nakakakita nun, hindi yung kapwa Pilipino. And uh, masaya na rin that, uh, of course, 
she has another set of eyes and uh, I'm just glad that uh, there are still people who see Philippines and the Filipino people that way so uh, I just shared that video with you guys and uh, I hope you liked it and of course if you haven't subscribed yet on my channel and well, just uh, subscribe like and share or click the notification bell for more um, actually this channel is about music and laughter but uh, of course I'm just taking this one into consideration so thank you guys for watching I hope you like this bye